was in the second round and he called me with two really hard knees and I couldn't breathe. I remember um, wanting to quit because that's the easiest thing you can do. He, my other mentality kicked in and uh, I was able to overcome that. Um, I bought myself some extra time and you know in the fourth round I ended up winning. In this last fight I learned um, I can't say I learned any one specific thing, it's just constantly always thinking about uh, improving myself. I mean, there's, um, it's, it's mainly strategic uh, things that, that are happening in the fight that I need to still uh, learn and that, and that all goes back to uh, having more experience. The more experience you have, the better and easier it is for you to uh, make these adjust adjustments during the during the fight. So I can't really pinpoint and say there was like one specific thing that I learned. Weakness and failure is that's the easiest way out, and we all have that inside of us. Every single one of us. I have it every single day. I want to fail every day. I want to quit every day when I'm training, uh, and then in the fights as well. Um, for example, there's been many fights, probably every single fight, where I get into a situation and the guy's really strong, he ends up hurting me, a lot of the times to the body, liver, and uh, you know, for those like 10, 15, 20 seconds, you can't breathe, you can't do anything. The only thing you have is, is your mind, and you're still able to think, and you're still able to um, uh, mentally stay strong. And so, if you practice that, that type of mentality then you're gonna overcome the weak that wants to come out of you on a daily basis especially in a high pressure situation such as a fight where it counts the most um, and in this last fight I wanted it to come out I wanted it to come out again but I suppressed it and I kept it from coming out because of that mentality that I have and the fact that I told myself I will never be down by another man um, and give him the satisfaction that he knows that he put me down by like a body shot. The only way you can put me down is if you turn me off. And that's literally by knocking me out. There's no way that I will ever succumb to any other way of, uh, of quitting, you know, unless like I break my leg or something like that. But uh, something that I'm able to control, uh, for example, a liver shot, and that's exactly what happened in this, in this last fight. I was in the second round and he called me with two really hard knees and I couldn't breathe, it, uh, you know, just as, just as always, always when it happens, 10, 15, 20 seconds. Um, I stayed in there and I strategized and I remember um, wanting to quit because that's the easiest thing you can do, is just put an end to everything. Um, but, uh, you know, my mentality, my other mentality kicked in. Uh, and I remember telling myself that I will never, ever give another man satisfaction that he put me down with a, with a, with a body shot. And uh, I was able to overcome that. Um, I bought myself some extra time. And, you know, in the fourth round, I ended up winning. Now imagine if I quit in that second round, how, how I would feel today. It would be a completely different picture. And so now, when you overcome something like that, something so difficult like that, think about how much stronger I'm going to be mentally in the next fight and maybe not even in the next fight just doing something else outside of fighting how mentally uh, how much mentally stronger you're going to be um, when you overcome uh, difficult situations such as that I haven't fought in a year and uh, you know many people have been have, have been saying that you know you're going to feel different are you afraid of feeling different and uh, I said, no, absolutely not. I knew I wasn't gonna feel different because I told myself I wasn't gonna feel different. If I told myself that, yes, I know this is gonna be uh, completely different because I've never taken longer than you know a couple of months uh, from having fights, um, then yeah, I was gonna feel different. But it's all about what you say to yourself and what you actually believe. You know, it's not about what any, anybody else says from the outside. It's about what you believe and what you think is going to happen. So if you believe that you're not going to change mentally in that fight, then you're not going to change. And I felt no difference between now and a year and two months ago when, when, uh, when the last time I fought. I felt exactly the same and maybe even better I felt this time.
uh, because you know even during during uh, COVID and the lockdowns I was training and I was uh, constantly mentally working on things that I needed to work on from the past fight so I felt great in this uh, in this last fight. Thank you to all my uh, fans that continue to support me and follow me. I will continue doing what I do, um, and you guys know my style, and I have to tell you guys what I do. Um, if you guys want to continue, if for the new people that want to follow me, you can follow me at Topic Fight, and that's across all social media, and also on my website, TopicFight.com. Thank you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share.